Hi, this is me, Rachel, from Dolls R Us, and this is how to recurl your originally curly hair doll's hair and fix it up. So, it's very simple, and all you need is some curlers, and my assistant here is Nicole. Hey! Here's my hand. Mm -hmm. And you need a hairbrush. It can be a doll hairbrush, or just this one. I like this one. You need a washcloth or something to put over your doll's eyes. I've heard the cotton ball method works, but I like this. And you'll need a hair tie or two. <laughs> and you optionally, you could use a toothbrush for frizz. It, any doll, it can be only used for doll hair. Please don't use it on your mouth, that's nasty. You need a light shampoo and a light conditioner. Okay, so now let me show you the first part. Okay, first you want to lightly wash it with some light, lukewarm water, and try not to get towards the wig pack, but that's okay. And then you want to add a teeny bit of shampoo, just a dot here, because too much will damage. Because it's nice to wash your doll's hair when it's dry, because it gives it some moisture. So concentrate on the ends. And it smells really good, by the way. Yes. Yeah, so buy the stuff. I will put all the ingredients and how to in the description in case you weren't paying attention or you don't have time. So I got a lot more wig cap. That's okay. So you want to rinse it out. So I'm just totally going to rinse it out. Sorry, this is going to be long. This is a longer process. And I'm going to be cutting out things. Like, like it's going to be live so you won't get all the different parts me waiting and waiting and waiting. This is a two-day process. What about her eyes? Don't you need to know Oh, yes. Eyes? Sorry. I'm just uncareful, so I don't really need it, but I'm going to use it anyways. If you're really careful and good at this and you've done this before, then whatever. But I definitely prefer to do that. Okay, then you need a little bit of conditioner. A little more than the shampoo. Still not a lot. Sorry. Oh my gosh. Okay, that was not intentional. So, so here's this. Soft, safe water. That's fine. Okay. So we just massage especially into the ends to help. Really. Ends are probably the most frizziest thing on Nikki. Mm -hmm. This helps a lot with that. It smells pretty good too. Mm -hmm. We only use smelling good stuff. And we. Oops. Oops. Okay, I'm just gonna have to be careful because that fell off and got wet. So you definitely want to get all the soap out or conditioner or whatever because that really stinks and that's bad. Oh, this smells so good. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> so we get all this out. Make sure. Make sure you don't want it too hot. Definitely on the cold side and very little water going out. I want. Do you need more near her top? Cap, yeah. Or will you get that? I get that. Okay, so you do this. You have to keep on massaging the whole time. That's really the key to make it better. And and she's basically like dressed in this towel, right? Oh yeah, you'll need that too. Sorry. Oh, you don't see, I got soap cold. there. This I've learned is actually not damaged the wig cap. The only reason her wig cap's damaged is from when I was little and I started ripping hair out with a brush. It was a smart idea. So don't worry about that. Trust, and um, don't blame me if you do something wrong here, because this works for my personal doll with my personal, her personal issues. So this might not work for yours, or you might do a step wrong. So okay, so I'm just gonna stop the camera and finish this up. Okay, so now you just try and bring it out, and you bring her down. So I'm gonna gently brush her hair out. So I'm gonna find her part. Where's her part? I kind of lost a part years ago, and then I found it, and then I always lose it again. So I'm just gently going to brush that out, find her part. Her hair is actually pretty long, but this is just a Nikki doll, so every doll's different. So here, it's already looking a lot more healthy. The ends, there's, they're kind of uh, beyond control. See, are they still soapy? Do they look soapy to you? No, those are fine. They're fine. So then you keep on, you just brush that out gently, very gently. I like this because it's easier to go gentle with. It helps with first control. And yeah, I don't pull as much because I am prone to pulling. Okay, so now what you want to do, you want to take your toothbrush. If you have this, it's totally optional. And this helps straighten out all the little loose hairs. So you just want to maneuver back and forth from doing this and that. So... 
So as you see, I've done one already. So I'm gonna do it on the thinner side because it's a little harder. So you brush it out and then you go over it with a toothbrush if you want, just to help a little frizz. And you take this, and I will let you know where I got these if I can figure it out or what they're called or whatever. So you want to bring it all the way down. What is the size that it's size that it's about like approximately? Mine, I'm using about an inch. So I go down to the very end. You want it at the very end, and you roll up from underneath. Make sure you're going underneath. If you do it up, it will not work nearly as well. So you want to do that and go as tight as you can, but very gently because you're going to damage your doll's hair if you don't. You take this, and I hate these security thingies, so I'm just going to mess with that. And sometimes they don't stay well, so I'm going to use a body pen. Sometimes they do, like this one stayed great, but other ones don't, so I'm going to use a bobby pin. I'm sure, like, all of you have bobby pins, so they're really easy. Quick, jab, jam it in there. Okay, and I'm just going to do the rest, and I'll get right back to you. Okay, so this is what your doll should look like when she's ready. I didn't use all of them, but I used most of them. And I'll show you tomorrow. They only really need a couple hours until their hair is dry, but I'm tired and I don't want to wait. And you definitely want to go over it one more time with a sink, but Nikki's hair is still sopping wet, and I didn't really want to deal with that. So if your doll's still hair is still sopping wet, then that's totally fine. And tomorrow I'll show you the proper way to take them out, because there's only one way you can really take them out. The best way, in my opinion, that works. So there's that. Oh. And you definitely want to just quickly go over it with the toothbrush on top if you have that option because it's very good on frizz. It's like looks so nasty, it's like you can't really see, but if you could, it's really nasty. But oh well. Okay, so I will see you later. Nikki's going to go to bed right now. Bye! Okay, it's me, Rachel, and I'm back, and I will show you how I take out the curlers now. So here, so now that her hair is dry, and I'll show you how I do that. So first, I'm going to start with this one, and I take out the bobby pin. Oh, I couldn't say that. I'm going to put her up here. So I take out the bobby pin, and then I take out this, and here's the hard part. So you want to put it like this and pull down gently. Try not to get the... And you get a cute little curl. Right now, it may look like a poodle. That's all right. I'll show you how to style it and make it look cute really soon. So I'm just gonna do that to the rest of this curl. So I'll show you one more time. Take, just pull, poodle. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna do that the rest of the curls and I'll be right back and show you how to fix it. Okay, now we have Nikki looking like a little poodle. So I'll show you how to fix this. So you take one of your curls and you separate it in half. And you find what way the doll's curls goes, like Nikki goes to the right, and you split it and you twist. So you gently twist. And I'm gonna pull and pull and pull. Gently keep on pulling. Yeah. So you get it how you like. So I'm going to keep on messing with that and then do the rest and I'll show you in a minute. Okay, so if you want your curls even a little more natural looking, which I like, I side to do this and the other one. So if you like it the other way, that is totally fine. It's up to you. So you split it in half. Do the same thing. Twist. Then pull, twist, and pull. So there's that, and then you just put them in half again, each one. And you keep on twisting, and you pull, and you twist. So you want to definitely always try and twist the same way your doll's curls go. So I have that. I'll show you this whole side that I have done that too. So there's that. I will style it and like show you how to make it even a little better in a minute. So I'm just going to do the other side right now. Okay, now we have these luscious, adorable curls. I'm going to show you how to style them and make them even a little more cute. So you can split as many sections as you want. I just chose this many. I might do a couple more later. But I think she looks pretty cute. And I'll show you how to deal with some of the frizz and stuff. Okay, so I'm just going to sit her down on her bed. 
Okay, so again, get your toothbrush. Where'd I put it? One sec. So, look at those adorable curls. They're so cute. And this is the method I think works best. These work for about two to four weeks, and then you should redo it. So, again, I'm just going to go in with a toothbrush. In this section, in the front, you might want to section these off a little more. See, I'm going to fix that. So I'm just going to sit her down. She's just in her pajamas, so she's not looking so beautiful. So there's that. And she's looking so cute. You can even just tuck those behind there to give her a little bit of a side bang. And so she looks adorable. So you can pull the curls more or do whatever you want, but I like them like this for now. I'm probably going to mess with them a little more. And thanks for watching. I'll put this I'll put everything I used in the description and um I'm going to do a photo shoot with her in a minute. Um so yeah. See you in a minute. And before I forget to take care of these luscious curls to keep them going for the full extent if they can stay is to tw gently take one twist and do that all around their head. You only should have to do this not too often, just whenever their hair looks like it's losing their curl, just a little. Don't let it wait too long though. And it's nice every once in a while to spray it with a spray bottle, but if you don't have one or broke it like me, um, you can just sprinkle your hand with some water and get that around all their curls to keep the dry frizziness from being too much. And I'm gonna do my photo shoot now.